Namaste. Welcome to day three of Anxiety Relief Series. I hope you all benefited from the Sacral Chakra and the Root Chakra meditation that we did. In order to gain benefit from it, you can do these meditations on a daily basis or even combine them all in one entire session and do it at your pace. Make sure you're not driving or using any heavy machinery when you're using this video and please consult with your doctor before changing your dosage in anxiety medications. So today we will be focusing and working on balancing our solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra which is also known as Manipur chakra in Hindi is located here right below your rib cage but above your navel. It is yellow in color and like I said, all chakras when balanced should be moving in clockwise direction and usually we feel and experience a little tightness or uh, shakiness in any chakra when it is imbalanced. Now not to complicate it but consider chakras as simple nerve endings clustered together. When they become stressed and tight they start disrupting the organs around that area. So like for your root chakra, it is below your lower abdomen and for your sacral chakra, it is this region with your intestines and your ovaries and all area, all organs below your navel. And for the solar plexus, it affects your gallbladder, your kidney, your adrenaline, your digestive process. So you may feel a shift in these processes when you are working on your chakras and also ill functioning of any of these organs represent a sickness or tightness in this chakra. Solar plexus chakra is known as the fire center of a body. It is responsible for your motivation, your willpower, your manifestation ability. It is the power center of your whole body. So while we are using our solar plexus chakra, if we have had wishes and thoughts that we want to accomplish for ourselves and we are not able to achieve those goals easily and effortlessly or feel a certain shakiness in our actions then that is because our solar plexus is not balanced. So to balance it today we will start working on using our crystal or rock I'll call this totem. So you take your totem in your right hand for this is the hand with which you will release the energy that is no longer serving you. You'll take it in your hand, put it in your lap, relax yourself over here and just let your arms relax, close your eyes and we will begin with the meditation. Allow me to guide you and draw in a deep breath. Hold this breath and exhale. Draw another deep breath and hold it again. This time letting this air circulate in your whole body. And exhale. Take another deep breath in and hold. And see how far is it going in your body, in your spine, in your feet. And exhale releasing any tightness in your shoulders, in your back. And now slowly we'll begin with relaxing our body parts, starting with our feet and our legs. Focus on your right leg, your right foot, observing any stress in this area. And gently exhale, dissipating the stress, releasing and relaxing this on the surface where you're resting. Take your attention to your left leg, left foot, left knee, left thigh, observing any heaviness in this area and relaxing and releasing it. Let your legs gently fall onto the surface where you're resting, allowing them to be calm and composed and relaxed. Taking your attention to the base of your spine, your lower abdomen. Observing, is your breath going to your root chakra? And exhaling and releasing all the organs in this area. And now take your attention to your navel, your intestines, your stomach, 
your liver and breathing in a beautiful white light letting all the tightness and stress of the day go away relax 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 take in a deep breath into your chest into your rib cage your shoulders and as you exhale gently relax and ease down these muscles letting them melt down into a comfortable and gentle state take your attention to your right arm right elbow bicep your palm your fingertips and the rock that you're holding in the center of your palm connect with this totem of yours ask it to receive all the energy that you no longer wish to have in your life any energy that is no longer serving you ask this rock to absorb it to help you release it easily gently and lovingly take your attention to your left arm your left wrist your palms fingertips and as you exhale relax and let your arms fall into your lap loose and limp now focus on your vocal cords your throat your back of the neck observe any heaviness in this area and with the next exhalation relax the muscles around your vocal cords and now gently unclench your jaw your teeth relax them relax the muscles on your face your cheeks opening new space for creation relax your ears and the muscles around it let go of the tightness in your scalp on your forehead let it melt away and now let your eyebrows relax and finally the muscles around the eyes and the eyeballs let them relax let them shut deep for you do have a choice to open it but at this moment we will choose to look deep within take attention from the physical world to our inner world to our spiritual world to our body and mind and soul and now gently take your attention to the area in your upper abdomen and right in the center of the upper abdomen below your rib cage this is your solar plexus or manipur chakra this is responsible for your determination your will power your fire center a center that provides you with the energy that you require to transform your desires into reality when this chakra is balanced we feel confident aware connected with a purpose and determined to make any reality occur for us however shakiness lack of confidence and self doubt are the conditions that arise when this chakra is not balanced well so now we will start working on this chakra observe how does this chakra feel does it feel tight or does it feel very weak or does it feel shaky observe the colors that you see in this chakra it should ideally be a beautiful bright yellow like sun but is there any darkness or any murkiness unclear energies in this chakra if so we will start releasing it as we chant our mantra ahim 
This mantra is supposed to disintegrate any heavy energies lodged in this chakra over years. As much as you'll repeat this mantra, it will take more and more power and bring better results. So drawing in a deep breath, filling yourself with a wonderful white energy, starting to chant our mantra, Ahim 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 And with this, we relax. With the sound of this mantra, we can clear out any energy that has been lodged in this chakra for a very long time. The crystal or rock that you're holding in your hand is absorbing more energies that are no longer serving you. And I request you to let go of incidents that are keeping you held on to a past that is no longer helping you. And now let's work on sending positive affirmations to our chakra. Observe a wonderful yellow light being absorbed by your body with every affirmation and see your body pulsating vibrating with a new energy. Focus on how deep is your breath right now. Is it reaching the base of your spine, your feet? What is the speed of your breath? If at any moment your thoughts begin to wander, you bring your attention back Focusing on the mantra Ahim and filling yourself with the affirmations. I am now connected to my solar plexus. I am now centered and aware of the axis of my body. The power that creates universe is now flowing through me and I am tapped into it. Breathing in more yellow energy. I feel confident and certain of my thoughts and my wisdom. I am in tune with my inner self so I am open to new solutions, new possibilities. Allow yourself to release any thoughts, any doubts created in the past that kept you from acting from your highest perspective. Allow yourself to discard the society's views on what your action is expected to be and supposed to be. Clearing out your solar plexus energy to tune into your greatest power 
as you were born with it. Allow yourself to plug in to your wisdom, your intuition, while charging your power up. I know what works well for me and even amidst the logical explanations of the universe, I can find which is the best suited solution for me. Drawing in more of this energy, let it circulate in your body. And for the next few minutes, we will just relax, keep quiet to let any further energy work be done on our body. I release anything that is no longer serving me into the totem that I'm holding in my right hand. I'm ready to let go and create new opportunities, new solutions, new possibilities. Visualize that your body is surrounded with a wonderful yellow light trying to nourish you from every side, from above your head, the sides of your arms, from the back, your feet, and at the same time, it connects you to the ground on which you are balanced and sitting. Now visualize an intertwining rope coming up from the base of your spine, your root chakra, connecting in to your creativity center, your sacral chakra, climbing up into your solar plexus letting you feel secure confident about your capability of being alive making you feel connected with your ideas to the universe that you reside in reaffirming your belief in your creativity and your sensuality and the way you express your desires and ideas allow this energy to make you feel comfortable in who you are. Saying to yourself, I accept my truest self. I accept my weaknesses. I accept my greatness. I am worthy. I am powerful. And I I'm full of gratitude for the amazing human being I was born as. I am grateful for the child I was, for the creativity that child was born with. I accept and embrace the child in me. I accept and embrace my greatness and let go of all the times when I was misunderstood, it is okay and I accept and create from my power. I thank myself and I thank all my organs in my stomach for providing me the nourishment to be alive and living my life. And just absorb this for another minute. And now drawing another deep breath. Observe how calm your heart and your breath has become. Bring a smile on your face. Observe the calmness and relaxation in all your muscles, all parts of the body. Slowly bringing all the energy work that you have done today into your real life. Accepting your pace of acting upon things. I will slowly count from five to one and we shall come back to our physical world. Starting with five, bringing your consciousness back and keeping all this work that you have done within yourself. Four, with a smile on your face, a more optimistic outlook, remembering the affirmations and repeating it over and over throughout your day 
three experiencing and connecting with the pulsation in all your chakras accepting the vibrations and movements and the work that has been done on all your chakras two wiggling your fingers and your toes ready to come back one eyes open wide awake welcome back and with that you will keep your totem by your bedside with the intention that it keeps absorbing any more things that you need to release and on a final day we shall be letting go of this totem so be prepared for it so that would be all check back tomorrow for day four of this anxiety relief series and the lakshi thank you wish you a good life